Hello everybody. Finally powering my way through that batch of slide film. Our next camera is the Yashica FR2. It was made from 1977 to 1981. It was kind of built for amateurs, not really people into photography. Uh, kind of like the Canon T50 or the EOS 750. Because um, it's Aperture priority automatic only. Um, point in its favor though, it does give you the selected shutter speed in the viewfinder so that you can sort of do shutter priority or manual. It has the contacts, contacts, Yashica bayonet mount. So there are nice selection of lenses available for it. The only speeds that are not selected by the camera are the flash sync and I have the manual and they don't give that speed. I would guess about a 60th of a second and it actually has a bulb setting and instead of the index mark being on the camera body it's on the center portion of the knob uses a silicon photodiode sensor uh, rather than cadmium sulfide so that's kind of a more modern touch and it's center weighted I don't know what the percentages are as far as the center weighting um, there's an exposure check button it's this piece right here and you push it in and you can see the shutter speed button telling you what the speed selected for your current aperture is. And with the wind lever and the standoff, you can also slide it over and it locks so that you're getting a continuous shutter speed readout. And to uh, release that, you just put the, uh, the wind lever back in. ISO settings are from 12 to 3200. You lift and rotate this piece around the rewind knob. This one's a bit stiff, so you really got to pull up hard on it. And uh, around that, if you're not lifting, it's the exposure compensation dial. It's plus or minus 2 EV in full stop steps. And rather than giving it in uh, minus, you know, plus, minus 1 and 2, it has two for double the exposure, four for quadruple the exposure, and the same in the other direction. It's marked half and a quarter. So a half is minus one stop. It uses a six volt battery, the PX28. Pretty sure that's the same like the, uh, the Canon A series uses. And you can also stack in four SR44, LR44, little one and a half volt button batteries so if you're in the middle of no nowhere and your battery dies if there's a drugstore you can probably find a batter batteries plural for this guy it does have a self timer and you pull the lever down and then this is the self timer start and to disable it you just put that back up and even while it's running, the, uh, the regular shutter button does work. The lens I got with this is a Yashica uh, 50mm f1.9. It's a DSB lens. I finally found out what that means. The DSB is single coated and then the ML series is multi coated. Not even sure what website I finally found that on, but I did finally learn the difference. Uh, this is six elements in four groups, and I have to say, for being a single coated lens, it's pretty sweet. It's nice and sharp, there's not too much uh, fade in the corners, so this is a pretty sweet lens. Uh, close focuses to a half a meter, not super, super close, but whatever that is, somewhere around two feet. And it has a 52, 52 millimeter filter thread. That's about it for the body controls. This piece back here 
next to the exposure button. This is just a little plastic cover and this is your shutter release, your remote shutter release. It almost looks like a PC sync socket, but it's not, and it's also not a mechanical shutter release. It's electronic. I played with it, and if you short the center contact to the body or to the outside, it trips the shutter. So it's a really, really simple switch. There's no electronics needed if you want to include your own remote switch together. Uh, another lens that I shot with this guy, I actually got this with a contacts body. It's a Tamron 70 to 210 millimeter. It's f3.5. Uh, stops all the way down to f32. And this is 15, el 15 elements in 11 groups. And I found an amateur photo, amateur photographer article. I'll put a link. It was via the uh, Pintex forums. And at the time this came out, it actually got better reviews than the equivalent Canon FD, than the Nikon Zoom, and even the Vivitar Series 1. They liked this lens better. And it really is a sweet lens. It's um, constant focus. So if you are at 70 millimeters, and you focus it, it's going to maintain your focus point, zooming all the way to 210. And it's also constant aperture. You know, most modern lenses, you only get the widest aperture at the widest setting of the zoom. But if this guy's set to f3.5, it's f3.5 through the entire zoom range. And it's just a straight push pull, and then you focus with the twist. It's part of their Adapt All 2 series, so um, they're a little harder to find now that they're not making them anymore, but I could unscrew this uh, Contax Yashica, and if I had one for a Canon, a Nikon, or whatever, screw it on, and boom, I've got the same lens on a different body. The, uh, oh, last thing is when you're zoomed, these kind of gold or orange color, that's your macro settings. And at 210 millimeters, this goes to 1 to 2.6. So not quite true macro, but pretty darn good. Um, in addition to being a really nice uh, telephoto zoom. The camera itself, amazingly, is in really, really good shape. The one thing that's broken, well, two, but they might be related, there apparently is a Teflon or plastic gear that uh, kind of comes sideways and works the film counter. And in the FR series in general, apparently they have a bad habit of breaking because it's a press fit on the kind of axle for the gear. And apparently it was too much stress. And once they get a little bit brittle with age, they break. So now that I've shot with this guy, I may uh, take off the top deck and see if I can, uh, if there's enough left of the gear, I can make a mold of it and hopefully replace it. The other thing is this button right here is your battery check button. And the meter's working just fine, and I checked it with a voltmeter. I know the battery is a good six volts, but you push this button and it's supposed to light up the film counter behind this little bubble window here. It doesn't do that. I don't know if that's another failure or if the gear crumbled down in there and then winding it, maybe pulled the wire loose. Once I have the top deck, I can uh, figure that out once I have the top deck off. But I'm down to some 110 film in the slide film. My chemicals are still hanging in there, so I'm going to get back to it, and I will see you then.